Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring in sincerity and truth worldwide to wake the elect of the children of Israel. This lesson is going to be entitled Prudent. So, um, had a dream, and uh, in this dream, uh, it was, you know, a whole bunch of commotion in the street. And uh, these young cats, they were out there teaching, but they were in t-shirts and fringes. And the folks rolled upon them and, uh, you know, had them all hemmed up basically against a wall. And you had a whole bunch of other Jakes, you know, wanted to come to their defense and um, was just running up there with them. You know, they was going to take their picture, get their uh, their height and uh, get their name. And uh, at the time when I was observing it, a scripture came through mind. Matter of fact, let's get that. And I did a simple word search of the word prudent. But the scripture that came to mind was Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself but the simple pass on and are punished so yeah you know those jakes were simple as hell because they passed on trying to have themselves lumped in but whatever those guys were doing uh to what to be punished right so let's go to this uh this definition i have it pulled up it's a simple Google search. Prudent. Prudent. It says acting with or showing care and thought for the future. See that? And those guys wasn't uh wasn't using wisdom or having any thought for the future. They were only concerned with the, the here and now. Alright? Let's go to uh the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. All right. It says, characterized by arising from or showing prudence, such as marked by wisdom or judiciousness, right? Shrewd in the management of practical affairs. Marked by circumspection. See? See that? Those guys weren't being circumspect in that dream I had. They they weren't being discreet. Right? Let's see. Let's go to some synonyms. Discreet. Intelligent. Yeah, they weren't using any type of intelligence, man. Judgmatic. Uh judicious right they wouldn't use any type of wisdom at all you know let's go to uh, the etymology online right that word prudent says with knowledge deliberate knowing skilled circumspect you see that it's the circumspect again right uh, let's see what else. Look ahead. Prepare. Supply. Act with foresight. See that? They weren't acting with foresight. They wasn't using any wisdom. Alright? Let's go back to these scriptures. It's like I said, I just did a, a simple word search. This is Proverbs 27 and 12. A prudent man foresee of the evil and hide of himself but the simple pass on and are punished see that 
King Solomon, who is Yahweh Shai, said this twice. All right? Let's see what else. There was one more I seen. Yeah, come. This is Proverbs 13 and 16. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. See that? Those were fools, man. You know, they was running to be lumped in with some bullshit. They weren't using wisdom. Hey, Proverbs 12 and 23. A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaimeth his proclaim of foolishness. See that? Like I said, I just did a, a simple word search for prudent. But the main scripture I wanted was uh, Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself but the simple pass on and are punished see that you gotta use wisdom you gotta be circumspect matter of fact let's let's get a scripture right quick and then we're gonna close it out it's, it wasn't meant to be long it's meant to be uh right to the point let's have one on let's see it. Yep, that's it right there. This is Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Right? With some, with some prudence, man. Not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. See that? That we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, with Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who I'm learning this 100% true from. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shai, to to learn how to be subtile and to move in this world, man. All right, Lord willing, it's been edifying. To the next time, I say Shalom. Hey, Shalom, the spirit jumped on me to add a little bit more to this lesson. So, this is 2 Timothy 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, Blasphemers, disobedience of parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the most high. All right. And once again, that dream that I had, you know, they they didn't use any type of wisdom or prudence in how they were walking. You know, it was um, a lot of boasting and a lot of proud talk that was going on. You know, you know, even though they got ran up on by the by the folks, you know, and when I say folks, I mean the police. You know, those guys obviously wasn't doing some in order, you know. Or, you know, Yahweh Basha was shy would have had to play out in a different way, you know. And then, once again, those guys that were out there, those chicks that were out there, you know, not understanding the gravity of, of their action as the, the guys were being lined up to be photographed and having the information to, you know, having their their height, you know, just like they were in a lineup. You know, you had other Jakes, you know, run up there beside them to participate in the same 
you know, to participate in the same folly, basically. You know, so let's get this scripture right here. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 8 and verse 15. Travel not by the way with a bold fellow, lest he become grievous unto thee. Right? So you gotta use, you gotta be circumspect. You gotta use wisdom. You gotta understand how to move in this world. You know, this wisdom is supposed to preserve you. Right? Give you subtility to move in this world once again. Let's read this again. Travel not by the way with a bold fellow, lest he become grievous unto thee. For he will do according to his own will, and thou shalt perish with him through his folly. Yeah. So in that dream I had, those guys went with those bold fellows who were obviously causing some kind of, you know, commotion, you know. And let's read this again. Travel not by the way with a bold fellow, lest he become grievous unto thee. For he will do according to his own will, and thou shalt perish with him through his folly. Yeah, man. You got to be circumspect out there. You don't want to, uh, just like Elder Manatha Zakba said last night on the live stream, you don't want to uh, see a, a family of so called Edomite and, and you calling for a dash that baby against a stone. All right? He, he, you don't want to have the ministry blame or anything. We know what the scriptures say. All right? And we know what the judgment is. All right? We, we, we're out there to seek out those who are worthy to understand these grave sentences. Right? Verse 16. Strive not with an angry man and go not with him into a solitary place. For blood is as nothing in his sight. And where there is no help, he will overthrow thee, right? Consult not with a fool, for he cannot keep counsel. Do no secret thing before a stranger, for thou knowest not what he will bring forth. Yeah, man. Don't be out there at your job saying you were Israelite with your fringes on, with your t-shirt and fringes on, man. You're not using wisdom. You know, and these words are supposed to teach you how to walk in the world, man. All right? Open not thy heart to every man, yeah. Don't tell every man what's on your mind, lest he requite thee with a shrewd turn. All right? This, this is going back to, uh, you know, that dream I had earlier this morning, man. It was, it was wild. Once again, that feature scripture that kept replaying in my mind. But Proverbs 22 and 3. And we're going to read it again. And we're going to close it out. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. All right? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it was edifying. Shalom.